guys, back for another video. Today I'm doing a different one. I'm doing my, it's small, but I'm doing my Golden Age comic collection. I have 10 comics right now, and the reason why I only have 10 is because I'm only collecting stuff I'm interested in actually reading, stuff I actually like. You know, so like cartoon comics, superhero comics, detective comics, that kind of stuff, right? Um... But yeah, it, it's a work in progress. I only started a few months ago, and this is what I got so far. So, without further ado, let's get into it. First, let's start off with the cartoon comics first. First up, we've got from January 1946. We've got Popular Comics number 119. This one is featuring Felix the Cat, Terry and the Pirates, Smiling Jack, and Smokey Stover. The three on the side you probably have never heard of unless you are familiar with Golden Age comics. But yeah, pretty cool. Look at that cover though. It's so nice. Like it's so old looking too. Like it's pretty crazy. But yeah, that's cool. Anyways, next one. Now, the next th four are all cartoon comics. And then we'll get into the other stuff. But these next four are all awesome, and um, all from the same series, and I really like them a lot. They're some, they're literally the best cartoon comics out there by far, and they're Walt Disney comics and stories. This is number one hundred and thirty-nine from nineteen fifty-two, I believe, or is it fifty-three? No, it's fifty-two. But yeah, it is um, Walt Disney Comics and Stories number 153 from 1953. Cool cover, you know, birthday cake and whatever. I, I really like it, you know, the whole chef thing. Yeah. Very enjoyable comics, these Walt Disney Comics and Stories. I must say the stories are excellent. They're by uh, Carl Barks. Anyways, next up we've got a Walt Disney Comics and Stories number 163. 163. The last one was 153. This one's also from 1953. Yeah, very good. I like it. And this is the last of the Walt Disney Comics and Stories. And it is number 169 from 1954. And, uh, yeah. As you can see, they changed the logo up here after those other ones. They've done many revisions of that, but it's very good. But, yeah. I I'm a comic reader, but I definitely appreciate a good bag and board can't get over that like i usually always buy my comics bagged and boarded i don't usually usually but i don't usually buy them without a bag and board unless it's like a killer deal you know but anyways now that we're done the cartoon comics i'll move on to um detective comics and whatnot well just the other stuff i guess um, now, this next one is the oldest one that I have, and it's from 1942, and that is Super Comics number 49 from 1942. And the reason why I got this one, well, first of all, it's from World War II. That's old as hell, man. This is like 80 years old now. That is old. And then, um, you know, you got Dick Tracy is starring in this. And then you've got some other features. You've got Smitty, Orphan Annie, Moon Mullins, and Tiny Tim. But I mainly just got it for my man, Dick Tracy. Sadly, the story for Dick Tracy, I found out, isn't very long. So, um, it's not nearly as good as this next one. Which is Dick Tracy Monthly, number 22, from 1949. Very cool. I love the old school Dick Tracy comics, man. They're just so fucking good. I love them to death. I like the movies. I like the show. I like the comics. But the comics especially. I really like the comics. 
but yeah, it's really good. I like it. Um, I don't know why I flipped it over. It's got a backboard. Um, yeah, this is the ones by Dell Comics. After, like, issue... It was somewhere in the 20s. It's somewhere in the 20s for issues. Um, the, the license went from Dell, the original ones, um, to uh, Harvey. Then Harvey did it for a long time. But anyways, yeah. This is one of the old Dell ones. I want to collect more of these because, um, you know, I just really like them. They're my favorite Dick Tracy comics. Is these old, old ones. But yeah. Anyways. Now we're moving on to superhero comics. And, um, I've got... Okay, so these are all, like, Captain Marvel comics. You know, or otherwise known as Shazam nowadays. This was before he, he was owned by DC Comics. It was back when he was owned by Fawcett Publications. Um, and at, at this point in time, Captain Marvel was more popular than Superman. Yeah, it's crazy. I know it's hard to believe. But he was outselling Superman. That's how big th these comics were. And so I've got um, one from one series and two from the regular Captain Marvel Adventures. So, I've, first one I've got is uh, The Marvel Family, number 18 from 1947. It's got uh, Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel Jr., and Mary Marvel. Anyways, yeah, I got this one for steel. I got this one for like 30 bucks, I think. Because you gotta remember, Golden Age comics are really expensive. Like, Golden Age comics are super expensive. Especially superhero comics? My god. If you're looking, especially if you're looking at DC. Fuck, it, it's it's out of my price range, and my price range is pretty significant. I'm not a cheapskate. And, like, Golden Age comics for superheroes and whatever, they're just too damn expensive for the most part. But, luckily, the Fawcett ones with Captain Marvel, which happen to be my favorite ones, are actually still affordable. Most of them are, anyways, except for, like, the really early issues and the first appearances and stuff. Which, obviously, that's going to be expensive anyways, right? But, um, anyways, moving on. We've got, um... Now, this is the good stuff. Captain Marvel Adventures number 91. I'm telling you, this copy is fucking pristine. It is really, really nice shape. And it's, uh, number 91 from 1948. Anyways, yeah, it is, um... The Captain Marvel Adventures ones is all Captain Marvel stories. No, not really Captain Marvel Jr. or, or Mary Marvel. It's just Captain Marvel himself. And, uh, yeah. That's a really cool cover, too. I like it. I like it a lot. I like these old school comics. I also um, recently bought the film serial on DVD. for Like the 1941 film serials. In black and white. You know, the ones you used to have in theaters and whatever. In parts. Cliffhanger serials, they I believe they used to call them. Because it always end up on a cliffhanger. But yeah, anyways, this is really good stuff. I like it a lot. And um, yeah. And now, finally, this is my most recent pickup. I got it for, um, I think I got it for 30 bucks. It's not in the greatest of shape because it's missing like um, a little, missing a corner of the back cover. Just a bit, but um, anyways, this Captain Marvel Adventures number 130 from I believe 1950. I can't remember, give me a second. It was like 1951 or 52 or something. Uh, let me see. Nineteen fifty two. Eh, while I'm at it, I'll just show you some of the pages, I guess. Right, real good old school comics. Gotta love that stuff, right? You gotta be careful with some of these old comics because the paper can get really brittle. And, um, you know. But yeah, guys, that, that about does it for my collection today. And, um, I'll just give you another quick glance at this cover because it's really cool and um yeah that about does it so until next time guys see ya